You're about to hear one of the strangest stories in military history. I know because it happened to me. Captain Jason Briggs, Army career man for 23 years, no visible scars, at least until that day we were flying some 30,000 feet over a very empty section of the Blue Pacific. Along for the ride was Sergeant Ben Healy, my second command since I was stationed in Seoul. A good tough man, but a royal pain in the ass, sometimes. Corporal Buzz Brannigan was up front at the controls, helping me escort three of the sorriest excuses for soldiers it had ever been my displeasure to meet. Private Wilbur Tabowski, or Turbo as the others called him. To me, he was just another prisoner headed for military court in San Diego. They said Private Wayne Kincaid was the brain, but the kid looked as lost as his cohorts. Like Turbo, he was facing charges for going AWOL. And finally, there was Schemer, a pathetic, shiftless recruit who certainly lived up to his name. According to the report from Honolulu Command, he was the mastermind behind the theft of the tank that got Turbo and the brain in hot water. Little did we know that we were all about to find ourselves in hot water with little hope for survival. What's going on? I just got a right there, guys. I'm gonna have to ditch! What the heck? What is it? Please, God, let it be Club Med. I wouldn't get your hopes up, John. According to the map, this place doesn't even exist. What are you saying, Lieutenant? What I'm saying is this island is completely uncharted. Well, men, we made it back to good old terra firma, no matter what your charts say. Hey, Cap, look! It's our stuff! How'd it get here? The same way we did, that weird current. What do we do now, sir? First things first. Let's see what kind of supplies survived the crash. Hopefully there's something we can use. Oh. Hey, we got a first aid kit. And K rations. And weapons. And playpen. This is something we can really use. Here's what I've been looking for. Transmitter. Everything still works? The batteries are still okay. Hey, look! What? I 
thought I saw something. Where? Right there, in, in the cave. What was it? I'm, I'm not sure. Whatever it was, I'll flush it out. Hold it, Sergeant. We're too low on ammo for you to waste it. That's an order. What did this thing look like, Private? I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it looked like a... Nah, it couldn't have been. It must be my imagination. Kincaid. Yes, Captain. How's Buzz? Why don't you ask him, sir? How you doing, soldier? Hey, okay, Cap. Just one thing. What? Sure could use a smoke. Here you go, buddy. What are his chances? Not good. We've got to move him inland, get him out of the sun. Yeah. Private, grab some weapons. Healy, give us a hand. Stay here with Buzz and do what you can for him. We'll scout around and see if we can find something to make a stretcher. Let's go. Sure, arming these men is such a good idea. They are under house arrest. There's no telling what we'll run into. Captain, can we take a break? Fall out, man. Fall down is more like it. says he caught himself in a zipper. Captain! Oh, Captain! Captain! Oh, Captain! You got a problem with your private's private? I saw her again. Her? Yeah, and this time I'm sure, I swear, Captain, I saw a girl. A girl? Oh, and what a girl! She had... Hands? No, not hands. She didn't have hands. Gross. Private, are you sure you never hit your head when the plane crashed? If you ask me, he's bucking for a Section 8. Section 8's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're stupid, not crazy. I knew there was a reason. Shh. Hear that? Hear what? That noise. Now he's hearing things. It sounds like water. You know, I remember seeing some water on the way in here. Yeah. Those aren't waves crashing, Schemer. Sounds more like splashing. It's coming from over there. Get your stuff.
Yabba dabba do. What did I tell you? the hooters on those bays. This beats K-rations. What the hell was that? All right, back to the beach, double time. There they are now! Make a run for it, Buzz! Introduce ourselves. Not so fast, schemer. These women are savages. I'm counting on it. Sergeant's right. We may not be welcome. Who cares? We're the army. Uncle Sam expects a certain amount of cavorting and pillaging. Surrender. You speak English. Surrender or die. You speak English very well. Which one of you is Uncle Sam? Uncle Sam? The leader you spoke of. What do you want him for? We want to kill him. Well, this is a fine mess you've gotten us into, Sam. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm the leader of this unit. Captain Jason Briggs, United States Army. I do not know these words you speak. You are men, are you not? Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm all man. You must come with us. Excuse me, you don't give orders here, I do. <laughs> What's so funny? Men giving orders. <laughs> Everyone knows you are brainless beasts. Sticks and stones will break our bones, but names can never hurt us. We have sticks. And stones. Let's break some bones. Hold it, Healy. We'll go peacefully. Get a load of that. Unbelievable. Amazing. I've been wondering what the dog was doing with all those bones. Go! Go! Look alive, man. Who 
are you who dares enter my domain? We are soldiers, your majesty. Soldiers? Yes, like your warriors. Impossible. You're too small and fleshy to be warriors, or men, for that matter. Now, wait just a minute. Silence! Ow, ow. Take away their fire spears. Almighty Queen, if they are warriors, perhaps they've been sent to us for a reason. And what reason would that be, Princess? Maybe they can save us from the Great One. Jackie Gleason? Do you actually believe that these puny creatures could succeed where our forefathers have failed? No, my queen, I don't. Take these worthless fools from my sight. Put them to work in the pit. Is that a barbecue coming on? I remember a little place in Patterson, New Jersey called the Pit Stop. It's a great little bar. I bet this pit won't be as much fun. That's where you spend the rest of your life in chains. That's what they said in Patterson. Hell! <laughs> Actually, we had nothing to do with this, Captain Briggs. <laughs> kind of crazy, you know? <laughs> it's you! Me? You bear the mark! The one we've been waiting for! Our savior! Right! It's me! <laughs> I'm here! Yeah! <laughs> I'm here! I get going with the mark and... I'm here! It's me! Why do these men still live? Because they are not men, Queen. They are gods. This one has the mark. Courtesy of Winray's tattoos, Deuce and Broadway. A trick. Summon the soothsayer. We shall let her decide. whether or not these creatures possess magic. It is true, Your Highness. These are the gods predicted in the sacred scroll. The sacred scroll? It is foretold in the midst of a terrible famine, the ocean would open up and out would come five strange and wonderful gods. I've been called strange. I got dibs on wonderful. They would wear foreign robes and provide us with food. Tic tac? But most importantly, among them there would be one who the yellow sun smiles on. His magic would be the most powerful of all, for he will be the one who will be the savior that will deliver us from the Great One. Hey, I only deliver within a one-mile radius of my house. Schemer! My people are starving. I refuse to place their fate in the hands of these so-called gods. Hey, Queenie, don't be such a sourpuss. Your savior's here. Put on a happy face. Us to. We must prepare you for battle. Hey, is that spear loaded? Hey! 
missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind rubbing a little lower? Ah, that's it. Perfect. This sure beats basic training, schemer. You can say that again. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're too god short. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a try. This is Sergeant Healy of the United States Army. This is an SOS. Does anybody read me? Come in. Over. You know, you girls never even told us your names. Our names cannot be spoken in your language. Our language? You speak English. But it is not our native tongue. It was taught to us by missionaries who landed here many moons ago. Missionaries? They came from the sea, just as you did. At first, we thought they too were gods. What happened to them? They went into the jungle to slay the Great One. And? And never came back. It's no use, Captain. The signal's not being picked up. We're going to have to broadcast from higher ground. Let's wrap it up. What the? We thought you might need your fire spears. We will await word of your victory. I'm dedicating our victory to you. Wait, this is silly. We've got to call you something. I know, from now on, you're Miss April, Miss May, and Miss June. April? May? June? What do these names mean? This will explain everything. What is it? Our sacred scroll. Is it magic? You have no idea. Now, study it hard, because we will be giving you a pop quiz later on. Simple? Absolutely. I don't know, John. I mean, you saw what that thing did to Buzz. Look! It's the worst creature of all. The Sargosaurus. Hiya, Cap. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Jesus Christ. What are you guys doing here? Trying to signal the rescue party. Rescue party? You don't get it, do you? If we get rescued, the party's over. Party? What the hell is he talking about? And how did you get our weapons back? The, the women think we're gods. <laughs> and all we have to do is kill the Great One to prove ourselves. You gotta be kidding. Turbo here couldn't even kill a garter snake, let alone a dinosaur. But if we do, we could spend the rest of our lives living in paradise. I hate to disappoint you, but you three are going back to jail, and I'm gonna put you there. You getting anything, Sergeant? Just a hiss, nothing but static. I hear it too, but it doesn't sound like static. And I don't think it's coming from the radio. Where is it coming from?
do not understand. How is it possible for a god to die? His magic must not have been very powerful. The important thing is that they have slain the Great One. The Queen will be very pleased. This is cause for a celebration. No, not yet. First, we have to bury our dead. What's your angle? What are you talking about? You never gave a shit about Ely. Why the sudden change of heart? Captain's right, John. I mean, you always thought he was a jerk. But he was our jerk. Heaven? That is the word the missionaries taught us. It means the place you go after you die. It's a burial ground. Get a load of that. Looks like something right out of King Kong. Captain, wouldn't it be easier to bury him at sea? Wayne, how's your arm? It's OK, sir. Give it a rest. I'm fine. That's an order. Turbo, take over. Come on, let's put some muscle in it. You are in pain? Just give me a bullet to bite on and I'll be fine. I do not understand. Yeah, I'm in pain. And eating a bullet will help? I don't think anything on this island's gonna help. What about me? You? Come. Hey, Captain. My arm's starting to hurt. Dig. Water. It's making my arm burn. My God. It's like it was never there. How can I ever thank you? Teach me page 34. Page 34. Oh, in the magazine? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, it starts something like this. No, no, no. Hold still. May Almighty God have mercy on his soul. Amen. Amen. Where have you been? I'll explain it to you when I understand it. Come, sisters. We must bring word of the Great One's death to the Queen. We'll meet you back at the village. All right, men, let's get the gear and go. So much look for the great one. <laughs> Take a good long look, ladies. It's wonderful, a miracle. This meat will feed many mouths. But where's the great one? Where's the what? We thought that. Uh, isn't that? This is just a beast of armor. Oh no. And a baby one at that. Oh no. The great one is ten times as big. Uh, what was that? The Great One. Oh, boy. Don't worry, we'll take care of the Great One just like we took care of this guy. That's not gonna be so easy without ammunition. And boys, we're fresh out. <laughs>
You failed, proving once and for all you're frauds, not gods, but mere men. Not so fast, Queenie. Aren't you forgetting something? What? The first part of the prophecy. We produce food in the middle of a famine. They're right, Morgana. The beast of armor will feed the entire village for a week. Nevertheless, I am the lawgiver, and I say that these men can bring only harm to the village. They must all die. No! As written in the sacred scroll, I challenge thee to Oh Ma Pa. Oh My Pa Pa? Oh Ma Pa. I've heard of it, John. The Druids used it to oppose the laws of their leaders. Very well, then. As it is written, so shall it be. We fight this night in the circle of power. If you win, the men will be spared. But if you lose, you, your traitorous sisters, and these pitiful warriors will all suffer a fiery death in the pit. Silence! The ceremony of Omapa will now commence. Begin! because the transmitter was destroyed. Oh, that's a real shame. It looks like we're stuck on this island with a bunch of beautiful women for the rest of our lives. What about the great one? We're stuck with him, and it's not gonna be easy killing him with no ammo. He's right, John. I mean, what's gonna happen to us once the girls find out the truth? That's why our first order of business is to end this famine. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? You mean, how are you gonna do that? Me? Why me? They don't call you Wayne the Brain for nothing. plants will grow here on the island? Oh, yes. We have tried and succeeded. Only the food is always devoured before we can harvest it. By the great one? No, by the small ones. 
the small ones. Hmm? Oh, gross. Come on, I got an idea. doing? Making a pesticide. Pesticide? Yeah, it's sort of like a, a potion that will help to protect your harvest. Impossible. Magic is useless against the small ones. This isn't magic. This is chemistry. What is chemistry? Here, I'll show you. All right, I'm taking a little iodine, mm -hmm. okay? I mix this with mosquito repellent. Mm -hmm. And finally, my secret ingredient. <laughs> it smells awful. What is it? Dinosaur urine? No, uh, schemer's aftershave. <laughs> April, what's your favorite food? Mmm, I love pterodactyl. Why? Because I was thinking maybe we could go out for dinner tonight. But we eat out every night. I don't mean outside. I mean out on a date. Oh, so you can learn my turn-ons and turn-offs? Who taught you those words? <laughs> I have been studying your sacred scroll. What do you think of it? Oh, it is very wise, but... I do not understand one thing. What is a kiss? I'll show you tonight. Tell me why we're doing this again. Because pterodactyl is April's favorite food. It doesn't slither, does it? No, it flies. And there it is. Oh, that thing has scales. I'm out of here. Or I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Turbo, you've got to get over this fear of yours. If you won't do it for yourself, do it for June. I don't want to impress June. Creepy, crawly things don't scare me half as much as she does. I know she's kind of tough, but it's not what I'm talking about, Schema. What are you talking about? I don't exactly have a lot of experience with girls. You mean you're still cherry? <laughs> Sorry, I just figured a big, strong guy like you. Girls take one look at me and they get scared. I don't blame them, though. I don't want to go out with a Neanderthal like me. A cave woman's a pretty safe bet. Besides, I think June is kind of the old-fashioned type. I don't think sloping foreheads or knuckles that drag on the ground are a problem for her. Well, what if I'm bad? Turbo, there aren't any other men on this island. Chances are she won't know the difference. Come on. Hey! Maybe we can go get another one. I think I saw one on the hill over here. Come on, let's go. Hey, where's my aftershave? Oh, sorry, John. I needed it to make a pesticide. It better work. We're almost out of dinosaur meat. And whose fault is that? Schemer, tell the captain to stop picking on me. Look, I don't have time for this. Well, actually, you do. I did some tests on the water around here. Just give me the condensed version. Well, the water's volcanic origin gives it amazing regenerative powers. 
um, prolonged intake may actually make the body younger and healthier forever. That explains your quick healing and why these dinosaurs are still roaming the island. Yeah, nobody bothered to tell them they're extinct. <laughs> Well, it also means these women are a lot older than we think. I mean, they could be one, two, even 3,000 years old. Hey, I've always had a thing for older women, so if you gentlemen will excuse me, I've got a date with the hottest prehistoric babe I've ever met. How's your pterodactyl? I caught it myself. Oh, how brave. I'm not sure. It tastes a little like a turtle. You know, this place has really gone downhill since the new chef took over. I like turtle. But you, you are not eating. Me? I had a late lunch. But aren't you still hungry? Not really. Well, then why did you try to press your lips to mine? You asked me to show you what a kiss was. You'll like it, I promise. Did the earth move? It did for me. Dear gods, the great one! Hey, I haven't even taken it out yet. Oh, that great one! Would have kicked his ass. You know, this would make a great condo. We could settle down. No, no, this is a terrible place. We must go no further. Why is that? Got plenty of room, hot and cold running slime. Look at this. Just my luck. Gold. Don't wet yourself, sweetheart. I just need a couple more gold nuggets to make the down payment on that little Malibu beach house I've had my eye on. But the beast of the cave, surely it will hear us. Beast? You didn't say anything about a beast. You wouldn't let me. What does he look like? <laughs> Sounds like two words. Big, hideous. Behind me?
with me. the one called Captain. Are you not? What the hell's going on here? Our culture has an ancient proverb that says, my enemy's enemy is my friend. I have been observing you. I believe you to be such a person. Lady, that's what I've been trying to tell you since we got stranded here. And if I could provide you with a way off the island, you would take the others with you, would you not? You can count on it. Many moons ago, a great silver bird crashed into the ocean. A crate filled with strange objects washed ashore. What kind of objects? Objects I've never seen before. But one of them carried voices from far away. You have a transmitter? The voices I heard spoke in a language unlike yours or ours. Where is this crate? This map will guide you to where it is buried. Buried? Have you girls got any uh, shovels to go with those spears? of that egg. We must have gotten too close to her nest. Her? You mean the great one's a girl? Let us go. We must not be here when she comes back. Wait a minute. What about that egg? What about it? It'd make one hell of a Denver omelet. Slow down. I need a breather. No, we must hurry. We must. You must. I'm taking a breather. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. In a few minutes. Do you know where dinosaur eggs come from? Doesn't the pterodactyl bring them? Let me cut to the chase. But these are not eggs. I know, but, but over easier scrambled. They look like breakfast to me. It's Sizzler. It's truly a miracle. But how could it have grown so fast? There's something in that water. Who cares? Let's eat. <laughs> eat, eat. It worked. May, I told you. It's not magic, it's chemistry. It must be very powerful. It is. But there's another kind of chemistry that's even more powerful. It's the chemistry between two people. I do not understand. Well, sometimes when two people meet, they have this effect on each other. What kind of effect? Well, for instance, their hearts beat faster. Will you show me? I'd love to.
Is this chemistry? No, this is magic. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this cave we found is crawling with gold. Yeah, and according to April, it's also crawling with monsters. No big deal. I had him eating spear right out of my hand. You can have your gold. This is the life for me. I hear you. You will come with us. The queen awaits you in her throne room. Again? What now? I'm booked till four. Come. <laughs> my attention that the three of you have feelings for these men. It is true, O oh Queen. Is that why you brought us here? We would like to ask you for your blessing. My blessing? April and I want to get married. But May and I just thought we'd live together first. And June and I, we just want to go steady. What you ask is not possible. Why not? These girls are the oldest in the village. They're next in line. For the throne? For the altar. That's what we're talking about. Getting a little cave of our own, tar pit in the backyard, having a couple of cro magnons, becoming fossils together. Not the altar of marriage, you fool. The altar of sacrifice. S -s -s sacrifice Every time the sun crosses the sea and reaches its zenith, we must sacrifice a virgin to the Great One. Wait a minute. You mean you actually feed your people to that thing? If I don't, the beast will come to the village to satisfy its hunger. And then we would all die. Queen Morgana, do you really think the Great One cares whether or not it eats a virgin? It never bothered me before. Didn't. It is our way, as is dictated by the sacred scroll. But that's just ancient superstition. It's the same superstition that has proclaimed you as gods. Well, then again, a sacred scroll is a sacred scroll. Only when you have proven yourselves worthy will I give you my blessing. How do we do that? Oh, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is destroy the Great One. Just bring me his head, and then you can all live happily ever after. <laughs> Destroy the Great One? While we're at it, why don't we melt the Wicked Witch of the West? Well, whatever we do, we better do it fast. I think she was talking about the Spring Equinox, which is only three days away. So now what do we do? I don't know about you guys, but I've already taken April out of the competition. What do you mean? Hey, every schoolboy knows April comes before May or June. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I hate to admit it, but... Oh, not you too. Sorry, big guy. It was too good of an opportunity to pass up. Oh. So now you're saying it's up to me. Well, it's a big no-go. I'm not doing nothing till I'm ready. But I'm telling you this. I'm tired of running scared on this island from some big overgrown lizard. I say it's time I stop cowering and kick some monster ass. You guys with me? Hey, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. But where are we going to get the firepower? Right here, boys. Now let's snap too. We got bigger fish to fry. I have provided you with the weapons you have requested. 
And now it is up to you. Don't worry, man. We'll be back. I wish you luck, Captain. Looks like Briggs is getting engaged. Even Briggs can get laid on this island. Let's move it out. So these missionaries are the ones who taught you to speak English? Why, yes, that's it, exactly. Hey, now what? Harmless like the one we saw before? Yes, it's the Thunder Beast. Harmless? Hmm. Yeah, harmless. So, Schemer, you've seen this great one. What was it like? Well, you remember that transvestite hooker that Turbo tried to pick up on in the Philippines? Hey, 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 hey! Well, it was as ugly as that, but bigger and pissed off. So where does this beauty make its home? It lives near the big cave. The one with the gold in it? Same. Lead on. interesting. Captain, will you look at that? My God. Think of the cholesterol. Let's take cover in the cave. Let's not make a meal out of that, Private. Good, huh, Captain? Keep it going, Private. It's gonna be dark soon. And I think staying in here is gonna be our best bet. This will keep the riffraff out. Those big lizards still give me the shakes. You think that's something? There was this bimbo actress I was dating back in L.A. What a piece. Almost married her, too. Then I got a look at her mother. Holy mackerel, what a puss on her. Say, June. Is your mother pretty? I bet she was. Come, let us go for a walk. <clears throat> Private, let's not walk too far from the light. Yes, sir. What are you looking at? The moon. It is crossing over the ocean. Yeah. You know, if you do not kill the Great One, I will be its next sacrifice. Oh, you don't have to. There's, um, another way. Oh, no. I could never dishonor my heritage by doing what my sisters did. You're scared. The Great One does not frighten me. No. But I think I do. You? You'd rather give yourself to the Great One than to me. It is true. I have never known a man before. Neither have I. Well, there was that one time in Manila. What? I mean, I've never known a girl before. I mean, I've known girls, but I, I, I've never known girls. You know? Then 
You were like me. Yeah. Scared. Hi, 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 hi. I am really scared. How's it going? Pretty spooky, Cap. These stones and bones know everything. She's got them telling my whole life story. You think that's suitable for mixed company? Maybe I better change the subject, huh? Very interesting, Schemer. But I think it's your turn to stand guard duty. Now go find Turbo and bring him back if you can. There's certainly no future in that. You know, trouble with being in regular army is that you're always sticking your neck out while the girls are sitting comfy back at home. I'll bet they're kicking back right now with a big bowl of strawberries. <laughs> Looks like a no-show. She's probably out on a bender. She might not even come back. She will come back. She's a mother. I could say that again. <sighs> there must be something we can do to bring her around. Any ideas, Kincaid? Yeah, Brain. Think of something. Well, I have an idea that might work, but it's a little risky. Risky physically or risky financially? What do you got in mind, Kincaid? Here. I'll diagram it out for you. Hope this works. Don't worry, it will. Quiet.
get it! You get it! Come on, let's not make a meal out of this thing. We got a village to feed. And so, by my authority as queen of this island, I now pronounce you caveman and wife. You may kiss the princess. Schemer, I guess you won't have to face that trial I was taking you back to. I still got the old ball and chain, if you know what I mean. I guess that's punishment enough. Where have you been? We had some celebrating of our own to do. I was a bad boy. April, is polygamy legal on this island? <laughs> Captain, I just wanted to tell you how brave I thought you were in battle. Well, thank you very much, Your Majesty. I've never seen a warrior with such strength. It's too bad you wish to leave us. It is? This tribe could use a king. Well, since you put it that way. means we get to live happily forever after. 